Hello guys, today we will be creating a PDF file in Android app. So in this part, we will learn how to create a basic PDF that will have hello world written. And in the next part, we will see how we can create PDF from an XML layout or from the view, any view that you have. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I've already created this uh, layout so that uh, we can, you know, quickly move ahead to the crucial part. So if uh, you are coding along, just you can pause the video and create the same layout. Okay, once you are done with the layout, uh, you can go to the manifest and you can add this permission, write external storage. We will need this permission because the PDF file that we will create will be saved to the downloads folder. So we need this permission for that. And also I've also added an activity, main activity that is set as a launcher. So once you have the layout, you have the permissions added here and you have the activity added in, the, in your application that is set as a launcher. We can move ahead to the main code of the problem. Okay, let's go. So we have this main activity here. First of all, uh, if your device, Android device that you're targeting is uh, Marshmallow or greater, that is Android API version six or greater, you will need to ask for runtime permissions. So first let's create a function that say, that's ask for permission. In this function will just ask for permissions. I'm not writing the comment right now, but when I put push this to GitHub, uh, I'll add the, all the comments so that it is easier for you to understand. Also, you can just download this from the GitHub. I'll have the link in the description. Okay. If you are having this problem right now, I just faced this problem. See, it's not giving me the right permission uh, shortcut or it's just giving me this dynamic receiver not exported. This happens because if I hover over here, it is showing this manifest is from the package .pdf creator. We don't want this manifest, we want the one that Android provides by default. So when you are presented with these options, select the second one, all right, the Android one. And now you can just choose the permission that you want to ask for, right? After that, we need a, a request code that the Android will, when uh, when the user accepts or denies those, those permission, Android will notify our app according to this request code. So it will say the permission for this request code is denied or it is accepted. So we need a request code for that. So let's follow. Uh, standard practice and just write some random request code there. Okay, so we have asked for permissions and now let's just call this function and yeah, as you can see here, I have a button create PDF. So when the user clicks on this button, the PDF will be created. All right, this button, not this, this is the text view. Okay, so let's add the reference to our button. Listener, and let's call a create PDF function. We don't have this function right now, but we will soon create it. Okay, let's create our function. Remember, guys, this is the basics, very basic uh, that helps you on create your own PDF, that helps you write into the PDF. Later on, in the next part, I'll show you how you can convert the layout to PDF or XML to PDF. So. For that, stay tuned, hit subscribe and turn on the notification. Okay, so first of all, one important thing that I forgot to mention is I have added this thing here, this dependency Android X Core. So Android now provides PDF documentation and PDF uh, document creation in this default core package. So add this, you can copy this from the description. And once you have synced the project, you can create, you can use the classes that I'm going to use now. Okay. So first of all, we have PDF document. Let's just create a new object of PDF document. 
So this is our whole PDF document, right? And then inside PDF document, we have page info and we have page. The page info contains uh, the width of the page, the height of the page, all that good stuff. And PDF page is, PDF page has the PDF info. Let's say there's a page and that page has PDF info and that PDF info contains width and height and all, all, the, all the other information. Okay, so first let's create a PDF information. Dot page info. Page info, we have a builder function just like alert, dialog, and stuff. And now, in this builder function, if you hit control P, you can see the parameters that we need to pass. So it takes page width, page height, and page number, right? So uh, let's just pass the default or more most widely used ratio that is 1080 into 1920. So width will be 1080, height will be 1920, and page number will be 1. Now you'll get this error because we have created a new PDF document builder, but not the page info. The variable is page info. So let's create page info from page builder by using this function, create. Okay, so now we have document, now we have the page info, and let's create the page finally. Okay, so again, PDF document dot page, page, and document dot start page from page info. Okay, so these, are, these three are the basic things of creating a page document. First, we need a PDF document itself. And from this PDF document, we create this page like this. And this page is created using the page info that is the page number, page width, and page height. So from page info, we create page. And from page, we create a document. Okay, now let's move ahead. So right now, we have an empty page. We have nothing written to it. So how do we write to the page? To write to the page, you need to get the canvas from the page. In canvas, you can draw anything, you can do anything. If you have worked previously with canvas, you can do a lot of stuff in canvas. In fact, you can create a whole create whole games in canvas. So, first of all, uh, let's get canvas from our document. Document dot. Okay, it's not from the document. I think it's from page. Okay, yeah, from this page. We get a canvas and this get canvas from this page creates a canvas that uh, can be written to this page or this document okay so now in canvas what we can do is we can write stuff so but first to write stuff we need to get we need to whenever we are in windows paint or we are some kind of graphic app we, need, we select a paint type or we select text type and then we choose width and color all the stuff right so it's similar when you want to write to the canvas but you will have to do it by code that is all so first we create a paint object and then in paint, we set the color. Let's set the color to red. Okay, C O L R dot red. Uh, what do we want? Green. Let's say red because it's more. I think it will be more prominent. And let's set the size to let's say forty-two. Okay. And yeah, we have our paint ready. Now we just want to write text to canvas, right? So what we do is, now where do you want to write? So we have the paint ready. Now we need to uh, set the pixels where we want to write, like top left and top right pixels. So let's say we want to write somewhere in the middle, right? For that, let's just write something universal here, like hello world and paint, not paint, put X. This is the x axis where we want to write. And for y, uh, let's write something 900. Now, this should be somewhere in the middle because our canvas size is this with thin height. And we have chosen 500 and 900 as the for x and y where we will start writing this. So, it should be somewhere in the middle. Okay. Base there and yeah. Once we have chosen that, now we can finally draw text here. And what text do you want to draw? This text. And where do you want to draw it? X and Y. And using which paint? The paint we had defined earlier. Okay, now the canvas 
has this hello world drawn on it and once it is drawn we can just finish writing the page so for that we can just call this function finish page and pass the page there it means this means that this page is finished writing to okay now let's just save this to the documents or downloads wherever you want to save it I'll save it to the downloads and so this is why we got this ask permissions in the beginning because we want to write to the downloads folder environment dot get external storage public directory and which public directory do we want to get we want to get environment dot directory downloads you can get documents or you can get whatever you want but for now we'll just save it to save it save this file into the downloads and let's give it a file name example pdf and let's create a new file from this path and this name that is the file and let's get a file out the stream so this stream will be used to write to the file it's a typical java file output stream so if you are familiar with that you should not have a problem so we are getting file output stream for this file so whatever we write in this stream will be written to this file okay so it's showing an error here because we have not added try catch to this so hit alt enter and surround with try catch there you go and now we use this pdf document and we write this document to this output stream okay again we have this error because it needs to handle another catch, catch exception so we can just add another catch clause and these two are pretty helpful if you get an error so you can log stuff here and just writing it quickly so that you understand error error while wrtng and you can get the error description here similarly if you get error while uh, writing the pdf document you can handle that here okay now after that once it is written you can just close it and once document is closed you can just close the file stream and once file stream is also closed that means everything has to, uh, is done properly and you can just show a toast and you can write in and congratulations you have written your first PDF okay now let's run this and see if this works or not again the shortcut to run this is shift F10 you've learned quite a few shortcuts here <laughs> okay as you can see here uh, this is our app this is our view and let's hit create PDF and we have our toast message written successfully so let's go to the downloads folder and yeah we have this here let's open this and we have hello world written in red congratulations guys and if you have any issues please let me know in the comment section below and hit subscribe hit the notification bell that helps me a lot and stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will learn how you can convert a layout or a view or xml to pdf